double stuff is constructed. Hey, I'm Cameron. I'm Clint. Today we have Red Velvet Oreos. Oreos keeps coming out with new flavors and we keep saying why do you keep doing this on and on. Red Velvet's trendy right now. I guess it makes sense that they would take that direction. And hey, that actually makes sense. Oh, that's good. You can smell it with just the package open. Red Velvet, as we've discussed before, is just chocolate cake with a bunch of food coloring in it to make it turn red. Looks like they didn't get the memo. You're supposed to use the whole bottle. They looks like they use like a half or three quarters. Yeah. And then the only difference is a, a cream cheese based frosting, which this says it has. So let's go ahead and try this out. All right. It tastes like Red Velvet, but somehow this flavor is super delayed. Like, crunch, 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 crunch. Oh, there's that cream cheese frosting flavor. If they told me they're gonna make red velvet Oreo and I try this, I'd be like, all right. Cam's getting some milk. Time for a dipski. So, boy, you can just set it in there. So they float. What's that about? I gotta do one more. Yeah, I gotta do one more too. Hey, folks, if you're not dipping these, you're doing it wrong. It floats, and right before it starts to sink, grab it, and then it's perfect. It brings out that cream cheese. Flavor more, I think, when you dunk it. Dunk is a necessity. I would say this flavor of Oreo, dunking like enhances the flavor more than any other flavor of Oreo. That really brought it out. These are good. I approve of this flavor of Oreo. <clears throat> but this makes sense, Oreo. This is something that logically would be a progression of Oreo variations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, Bert. All right. Let's rate these on a scale of 1 to 37. 33 out of 37. 35 out of 37. Thanks for tuning in to the two minute review.